So this is a blower door test that we are performing on a home that's going to go for the net zero certification. And the purpose of a blower door test is to test the air tightness of a home. With the blower door test, it's going to depressurize the house. So what that means is it's going to be blowing air out of the fan, and that means sucking air into the, the home itself. And with this manometer we have, it'll measure the, the pressure difference between inside and outside, and then it converts it to actual CFM of airflow that moves through the fan. One thing to check is this line set. Just because just it's, it's a foam thing around it, it may not have been sealed all the way around. That was such a tiny hole, mm -hmm. that was what, the size of a toothpick? Or? Yeah, yeah, it was real small. Is any penetration that wires go to the exterior, either goes to the exterior sheeting or into the, the wall studs, as we can see here, there is no sealant where this wire goes through the wall. And right now there is a, quite a bit of air flow coming through this hole in the wall that has not been sealed. So one of the things I do is verify that all these holes are sealed and then have the installation contractor or the builder come back and seal that hole. At this point, you want to you want to bring up the, the test pressure to a negative 50 pascals, and just with natural pressure differences, it changes. It'll bounce around a little bit. And the number on the left is your pressure difference, or the test pressure, and the number on the right is the amount of CFM that is flowing out the blower door, which equates to the same amount of airflow coming in through air leakage. Right, right now, this is just the, my calculation for the cubic volume of airflow in the home. And from that number we can calculate how many air changes per hour the home leaks. And obviously you want the lower the number the better. The ideal uh, air change per hour is between one and two for a net zero house. I mean obviously lower the better of course, but to get to the range we were looking for that's a, that's a good starting point. And then the nice thing about this test we're doing now is that the house is uninsulated and there's no drywall except for the lid. So we could actually find the, the points of air leakage in the walls and, and minimize those at this point. So we're doing a pre-drywall blower door test. Now that the house is in its final stages, we'll be able to do a final blower door test to, final, to figure out the actual uh, CFM of leakage of the home. And for net zero type homes, we want to be under 1.5 air changes per hour or less. And most likely this house will test under that. And at this stage, we'll be able to locate air leaks with feeling with our hands and with a small smoke detector. So we can walk around and look for those, those spots of air leakage and correct them if we can. So at this point, we're taking the house to a, a test pressure of negative 50. And that is going to be on the left hand side. So we want to get to as close to a negative 50 test pressure as possible. And what that means is we're bringing the house to a negative 50 pascals compared to what's happening outside. And then on the right side is the actual CFM measurement of the house. So the fan is able to calculate the, the amount of air that is going through the fan, which in turn is what's leaking in the house. So right now we're at about 315 CFM of air leakage. So with what the smoke is doing is detecting air leaks, and in this case there's not really any air leaks because the smoke is kind of hanging in one spot. If there was an air leak, it would be drawn away from the window towards the blow door fan. What this is showing is there is air coming out of this lock plate for this door. And most likely the air is probably coming from the attic space, coming down the wall, into, inside the framing, and then out this hole here.